and it all kind of happens for you. All of my groceries. Welcome to a new video. So I'm just about to go run errands. I had a really productive morning, worked out, showered. I even washed my hair. So I just finished doing that because it takes me so long to do my hair. My keratin treatment, if you guys didn't know, I got like a keratin treatment and it's honestly wearing off now. And I'm just gonna wait a couple more months. I think I'm gonna get it done again in June so that it's fresh for the summer and then I don't need to worry about like doing my hair in the summer. Cause then I can go swimming and I feel like that's just the best way to do it. Cause if I do it now, then it's gonna wear off a little bit for the summer and I want it to be like super fresh for the summer so i'm just gonna wait it out and get the keratin treatment done again because it's honestly like the best thing that i've ever done for my hair but anyways so i'm just going to go grocery shopping run a couple errands this is my fit i'm wearing the nikes with these jeans that i thrifted and then just this plain white basic t-shirt from h&m and then this purse that i wear every single day so usually i would start off this vlog in the mirror that we have in our house but as you can see it's not there anymore <laughs> And the story is actually quite tragic. I'm over it now, like it's fine. So one morning I come out, I was in the bedroom and I wake up and I literally like just walked into the bathroom, walked into the kitchen and I went back in the room. And then all of a sudden I hear this huge ginormous crash. And I'm like, what was that? Like, don't tell me that was a mirror. And I walk out and the mirror literally from this wall just face planted onto the floor and glass it wasn't everywhere but it was just like shattered so we couldn't just like pick the mirror up it was very tragic honestly i have no idea how that happened because my mirror at my house i have like a full-length mirror in my room and i've had the mirror leaned up against the wall for like five years now and i never have hung it up and it stayed like it's never fallen so i thought that by putting the mirror on this wall it's like oh it's fine like my mirror at home that i've had on my wall for like five years have never fallen so why would this fall right i didn't even like expect that um and then below and behold i don't know what happened i don't know how it happened but obviously it wasn't um like seated up correctly i don't even know but it crashed it fell and <laughs> kind of tragic because this is like my favorite honestly the favorite thing that we have in the house right now just because i would vlog there i would take pictures there it's just like such an iconic moment right here so we're gonna buy a new one i'm probably not gonna go today just because since i'm going out alone that's kind of a lot for me to do and i don't even know if that would fit in my car like it's kind of too heavy for me so i'm gonna wait till i can go with joel one day and we're gonna get a new one it's just like an ikea mirror it's a habit mirror it's 150 dollars, which is really tragic that i have to spend that again but it's like not the end of the world the most important part and like to make light out of these situations you just gotta tell yourself like everything happens for a reason nobody got hurt we cleaned it up safely like it was all fine so i'm not trying to be mad about it like yeah it was a little bit disappointing but it's not something like that i'm gonna get mad over so so it's fine we just don't have a mirror for the time being hopefully we can get one this week because i already miss it like i honestly like walk by here to like check my outfit out and i'm like holy shit like there's no mirror like i can't even see my outfit apparently breaking glass is like a good omen i know like some people say it's like oh bad luck for seven years but i don't believe in that shit i don't believe in bad luck okay because you manifest everything that comes into your reality so if you think you're gonna have bad luck then you're gonna have bad luck but if you 
you know see the positive side of it then you're fine so don't go commenting and being like you're gonna get bad luck for seven years because it's all a mindset okay but yeah just thought that i would let you guys know in case you notice that it's gone <sighs> tragic but it's fine it's fine it's not even tragic like it's honestly just kind of disappointing okay i just got to starbucks and i'm gonna treat myself today i'm gonna get a i'm thinking of getting a brown sugar oat chicken espresso but the thing is with that drink is every single time i order it they make it different i don't know how to explain it but they literally make it different every time and it's not consistently good one day i'll get it and it's like so good and then the next day i'll get it and it's like not as good and i think i'm also gonna get one of their breakfast sandwiches because i had a smoothie today I had that right after my workout but i didn't have like anything to eat after and usually like i do and i'm kind of hungry right now and i don't want to be hungry going into running these errands or else i know that i'm just gonna buy everything that i see that's like one tip is to never grocery shop while you're hungry or else you will over buy <laughs> like <laughs> when i'm hungry and i go grocery shopping it's not it's not a good mix so they don't have a drive through here but i'm literally gonna put the order through on my phone and then just walk in and get it <laughs> Okay, I got the brown sugar oat shake and espresso and the sandwich. I think I'm just gonna sit here and eat for a bit just so I can not eat and drive because I hate doing that. So I just got to the grocery store, but I just filled up on gas and in the city that I used to live in, like when I lived with my parents, um, they would, it wasn't like self-serve gas. Like you would go and you would get gas and you would fill it up yourself. And I didn't realize that here, most of the gas stations are not self-serve they have like someone to do it for you but i had like no idea because i filled up at one gas station here this whole time and it was self-serve so you would do it yourself but this gas station that i went to they had a worker there that did it for you and i felt like an idiot because i had no idea so like i went out and i'm like what is he doing like coming up to me and then i like put my card i'm like uh and he's just like there standing and i'm like what the heck is he doing he's like can you open your gas cap and then I just like put two and two together that like he's filling up gas for me. But I was literally felt so dumb because I'm like, shit, like I am not used to this. I'm not used to somebody filling up my gas for me. <laughs> it's kind of actually funny. But now I know because there's like um, in the city, there's like a mix of self-serve gas stations. And then there's also gas stations where people do it for you. And I totally forgot about that. Anyway, so we're going to go grocery shopping now. I came to a store that's, I think everything is like organic in here. So I'm going to pick up like vegetables and mainly like fruit and stuff. It is a little pricier here, but I would spend the extra coin for organic and healthier, natural, local vegetables and fruits. I just feel like that's worth it. I'll bring you guys inside because it's so cute in here actually. <music> So I'm officially finished grocery shopping. I hope I didn't forget anything. I'll give you guys a nice grocery haul when we get home. It's actually such a beautiful day outside. Like I didn't even need to wear a sweater. It's like a little bit chilly, but the sun kind of heats things up, which is so exciting. I am literally so excited for summer. Like comment down below if you're excited for summer because I sure am. And the summer content, you guys, it's going to be on a different level. It's going to, oh, I literally cannot wait. As of right now, I don't really have like any plans for the summer. Um, but I definitely want to plan a couple of trips. So let me know if you guys have any summer plans Okay, guys, so I just got home and I'm just in the parking garage right now But I was driving and whenever I drive and listen to music, I get so motivated I don't know what it is, but like just listening to music Your favorite songs and driving and just like being in a happy mental state appreciating life it's just the best but anyways i just feel really motivated to turn on the camera right now so i was just like thinking back to when i first started taking this youtube channel seriously and when i first started posting and at that point like i wasn't really making an income off of it and i had a goal and my goal was like in one year i want to be self-sufficient i want to be able to um, be financially stable and be able to be 
like on my own make my own money and it's like now that i reached that goal i'm looking back at that time when i was working towards this goal and i'm like holy shit like i kind of miss that like i kind of miss that period of my life and that's why it's so important to appreciate every single stage of life that you're in even though if it's not like the greatest and even if you're right now you're working towards a goal that you want to achieve make sure to take those moments in even if you it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel make sure to still appreciate every single step of your journey and every single step that you take just appreciate it and soak in the moment and don't rush anything like there's no point of rushing anything and trying to get to the finish line so fast because everything is going to happen in due time and everything is going to happen and unfold exactly the way that it's supposed to looking back now when i was in that moment i want it to be so bad in the moment that it am now like in this time where now i'm financially stable and everything and back then i wanted to be in this position so 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 bad as much as i did soak up and i knew that i was gonna miss that part of my journey like i miss it to be honest and it's just crazy how just over a year ago i was wanting and striving to be in the position that i am today and now i'm here and i have new and higher goals and also it's like the goals never stop like once you reach a goal you're going to set new goals for yourself and you're going to want to be at the next stage of your life so it really never stops and that's why it's just so important to not rush things and to just like take a step back enjoy the moment be present and just let life happen because if you're not present in these moments and you're rushing them to get through them just until you reach that um, goal that you want to achieve you're going to regret not being present and not appreciating the moments that you were in and you're gonna look back and miss them obviously like i'm so thankful for where i am right now but when looking back at that it kind of makes me nostalgic and it's just crazy how life happens so fast like it was over a year and a half ago and at that time it like felt like such a dream and deep down i knew i was gonna get there like i did know but it also felt like a dream a big dream of mine you know and it's just crazy that i'm here now and it just doesn't feel as big as an accomplishment than it did when i was in that position a year and a half ago because it all unfolded so slowly if that makes sense not saying like obviously i'm so thankful like i'm literally living my dream life and like i couldn't be happier but the message that i'm just trying to get across is to soak in your journey everybody's journey is going to look different if you're 20 if you're 25 if you're 30 and you think that you're falling behind in your life because you're comparing to somebody who's your age and they're at a completely different step than you there's no reason to compare yourself to them and put yourself down because they're at a higher place your journey is unique and no matter how old you are it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if somebody your age has your dream job like that doesn't take away from your journey and your life your life is going to unfold exactly how it's supposed to and when it's supposed to unfold and that's kind of the magic of life is that everybody has their own journeys everybody is here for a different purpose and a different reason and that's what kind of makes the world work it's just so important to never feel behind and to always just be present in any step of your journey that you're in if you feel like you're in a really bad place right now and you can't wait to jump to the next part of your journey just take a step back be present and realize that like one day you're gonna maybe want to be back in that moment and you're you might miss it every single step of your journey is going to lead you to the next part of your journey and it all kind of happens for you everything happens to get you to that next part of your journey so right now if you feel like you're at the bottom and because you're trying to accomplish this huge 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 goal and you don't like that you're at the bottom and you haven't accomplished it yet i would really really reconsider those feelings of not wanting to be in that position because trust me trust me on this one you're gonna want to you're gonna miss those moments of building this goal and working towards the goal it's not about the destination it's about the journey that quote literally just popped in my head it's such a cheesy quote but it's so true Okay, here is an overview haul of my groceries. So I really try to minimize how much plastic I was using because I definitely want to be more conscious of that. So I didn't put any of the fruits or vegetables that weren't already in plastic bags in any plastic. So we're trying to do our part and be more sustainable. 
So I got two heads of broccoli and then I got some fruit here just to stock up my fruit bowl because I just love having fruit as a snack. So I got an Asian pear, two mangoes, two plums, two pears. Got a box of strawberries, cucumber, got some green beans to cook up for dinner. I love green beans. So I've never tried this before, but this is the Khalifa Oat um, coffee creamer and it's in hazelnut. And I love this brand, but I've never actually seen this creamer, so I had to pick it up to try it. And then I also got a big bottle of kombucha because this is the best deal. This was like $9.00. And if you were to buy the smaller bottles, they're like $5 each. So this is actually a really good deal. I got some lemons because I want to start doing lemon water in the morning. I got pierogies just for a quick dinner. Chicken thighs. I got some chicken cordon bleus. And then I got some cod. There's actually tea on these peppers. So I saw this TikTok of this doctor and she's like a dermatologist. And she said that yellow bell peppers are one of the best foods that you can eat to, to have good skin. Because apparently they have so much vitamin C in them. And that just really helps your skin. So... That inspired me to buy some peppers because I honestly love eating peppers with ranch. It's so good. So that's a nice snack I can have. Then I got two avocados just to have with like toast or something in the morning. I got bok choy to have with a meat for dinner. Bananas and yeah, that's a little overview haul. Okay, this is the current state of my fridge. I just actually turned it off because I'm going to be keeping it open for a bit because I want to clean it out. But I just kind of want to wipe the shelves down and reorganize everything so that when I put this in, it's all nice and organized for the week. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So here's the after of the fridge. I just wiped everything down so it feels a lot more clean and put together. And then I just organized everything. We got like the vegetables in these two drawers here. And then we got just like random stuff organized up here. And yeah, it just feels so much more better and clean. Okay, so while I was doing the fridge and stuff and putting everything away, I was actually listening to Money Affirmations. And affirmations isn't something that I've ever really like done or dived into. I just like write one every morning, but it, I've never actually like just listened to a YouTube video with affirmations before. So I forget who I saw do this, but basically they were just like listening to affirmations. Oh, I think it was Maya Pham, but I literally love her YouTube videos so much. I recently just got into watching her and I love her videos so much. But anyway, so I think it was her that actually got me onto this. So basically when you're doing something, instead of like listening to a podcast or music or whatever, put in your headphones and search up money affirmations like beauty affirmations like any type of affirmations and just listen to them and you might think that it's stupid but basically what it does is it plants a seed in your subconscious and the more you listen to it the more you the more it'll grow and the more that you'll believe that it's true because your subconscious is so 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 powerful and there's so many limiting beliefs that are held within it that we don't really realize every single day. Listening to affirmations, it helps kind of rewrite your subconscious. So I really wanna try this. So I've been listening to this money affirmations video for, this is my second day doing it now and I wanna try to do it just like every single day and see what happens because I've been, I was reading the comments of the videos and everyone was like, oh my God, like this works. So it's kind of really interesting and I'm going to try it. I'll update you guys on it, but it's just something that I want to start incorporating into my everyday routine because you can li literally listen to it whenever, like before you go to bed, while you're showering, doing chores, like doing whatever. Try it out. I will link the video that I listened to down below. I actually listened to it twice while I was doing the cleaning. Yeah, it's something new that I want to try out and I totally believe that like repetition, even if you don't believe it at first, it's going to make you believe it through your subconscious and then it's actually going to play out into reality so it's just such a cool concept and i don't know why i've never really like done it before but i'm excited and if you guys want to start this with me we should do it together because that would be really fun so anyways yeah so basically i just searched up the video on youtube and you can like search up whatever video you want but you can search up any type of affirmations it doesn't have to be money i'm just doing money for fun because i do i feel like I have a lot of limiting beliefs about money so Hopefully that can help reverse them, like in my subconscious. So yeah, I will update you guys on how that goes, but that's what I was listening to.
Okay, so here is my dinner. I got the cordon bleu with bok choy. I honestly love making bok choy. It's so easy to make. I just put it in a pan with oil and then put salt on it, and it's so good. And then I just have it with rice and kombucha in a wine glass, you guys. It hits different. Like, it really does. So, 10 out of 10 would suggest. This is my little dinner for tonight. Should I assume it's me? Sweet disposition, switching position, walking submission.